Okay, welcome to the realestateexperts.com real estate show. We're also syndicating this particular segment on uh, YouTube, and it'll be embedded on our blog page at the realestateexperts.com, linking you right over to, real, uh, to, to YouTube. The reason for this is this is probably one of the most important segments that I've done on radio about real estate and finance in a couple of years, if not longer. It's not only extremely important, this is an existential threat to equity for home sellers across the nation and specifically in Metro Atlanta, but it's an existential threat to real estate agents too. So I'm doing this both for the industry and for home sellers of the future. It's about Zillow. Zillow has come to Atlanta with their home purchasing process. They've been doing this in Denver, Charlotte, and Phoenix with some level of success. They've bought a lot of homes. And we've heard this in Atlanta for a while now. Mark Spain has started doing it. Bypass the market and sell your home and start packing, right? They've started all that stuff. Mark Spain, for those watching on video, don't know. He's one of the top agents in the country. And I'm not beating him up. He's just in a process that I don't particularly believe in. Uh, at least not the way it's being done. Offerpad, knock.com. It's all misleading. It's meant to fool you. And it will cost you tens of thousands of dollars, depending on the sales price of your home, if you use these systems or or scams, I would call them, to, to buy or sell uh, your home. Uh, now, here's how it works. Zillow has come out with this offer process. I had a, a listing appointment this Thursday that the seller, the potential seller calls me on Wednesday and says, we've decided to sell our home to Zillow, right? And so I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't even know Zillow had done this in Atlanta yet. And apparently, they started just over a month ago. And I said to this seller, if you'll send me the so-called contract, as you believe it to be, I will take a look at it and advise you what's missing because something's missing. So let me use made up numbers here. I'm going to use $100,000 just to give you because it's easy because I can use dollars as percentages. So the value of the home on the Zestimate on Realtor.com and on Trulia was $100,000. It was more than that, but I'm, again, I don't want to share anybody's personal specific information. The, the offer from uh, Zillow was roughly $97,000. So looks like they're just taking a small haircut of 3% to sell it, bypass the market, move on. Sounds easy, right? The reason these programs have been successful, at least up until now, is because the market has accelerated across the country where these programs are, including in Atlanta, so rapidly that the uh, Zestimates and the, and the online automated valuation models that everybody's using now to capture home seller leads, um, they, um, they're wrong. They're just wrong. They can't keep up because they're looking at sales for the past year and prices could have gone up 5% in the last three months. So you could have a home worth 100000 on a Zestimate that's actually worth one twenty. I've seen it that far out. Two, a million dollar home worth one point two. I've seen all of these scenarios and every imaginable point in between. So your $100,000 value that the seller believes it's worth based on numerous inaccurate online automated systems is not actually the value. The value is 120. Put it on the market, sell it in seven days was the case in the house I'm talking about. On average, seven days at full price. There were nine homes within a half a mile that had had that very similar, some even smaller than this one. So this is, uh, you know, for agents listening, I'm giving you a sales pitch against this to help us become an army against scams against the consumers in the, in, in, in the pub, you know, selling homes. For those that are sellers, you won't fall for these scams. You won't go down what this is called as a sales funnel. Um, you'll find a good quality agent like me or any of the other numbers out there that know value and will estimate value for you before you'll even consider this process because you'll want to know what's the most I can get on the market. That usually involves talking to three agents to make sure that they're not more than 10% off of each other. When you're valuating a property worth millions of dollars and you want to make sure you nail the value, you hire three appraisals. You, you, you look at the three and if one of them is, is outside as an outlier by 20% or more, 15, 20% or more, you hire another one just to vet out and you take the three that are closest to find value. I mean, that's not the only way to do it, but you look at a lot of different scenarios because you can't believe that every person that comes in knows what they're doing or they make a mistake. It's the same thing going on here. Zillow is preying on the flaw in their Zestimate and so are all these other companies. The fact that they can't keep up with values when they're using numbers from a year ago. So the consumer sees the value. They see it repeatedly on the web. It's inaccurate. They have no way of knowing it because three or four websites control the real estate process. And then they see, oh, well, I can have Zillow make me an offer, bypass the market, save all the hassles. The offer comes in very close to the numbers they keep seeing repeated online. 
and they fall down the very, very bad sales funnel of double entendre. What does that mean? What is double entendre? This is a process of where you have two different opposite meanings of the same phrase or word in the context we're discussing. So in this case, it sounds like you're getting top doc dollar or fair value, right? That's double entendre in this case because fair value sounds positive and it is if you get fair value with no hassles. That's a great deal. But the problem is fair value is a negative when you have to ask the question, but according to who? Well, if it's according to the buyer, fair, fair value is what they're willing to pay in order to take the risk of helping you have no hassles, which means a big haircut, usually 25 to 28% of your true value comes whack off the property. So in this case, they come in and they do their offer and they bring in some, you know, minion that doesn't really know much, but they know how to follow the process. And they send you over some documents and an inspection and they say, we're going to knock another, I don't know, 8% off of the price. So let's say they knock uh, seven or $8,000 off the price. So now you're down to 90,000. Now we're going to knock off a fee. Uh, now we're down to 85,000, 83,000, something like that. Closing costs, you got to pay all that. So you're at 83%. Well, even some sellers go, well, that's still not bad because if I add a commission back in that I'd have to pay an agent like Brian or any other agent, I'm still around 90%. So, uh, okay, I'll do that, right? So they think they have a contract and they don't read what I'm about to show uh, those folks. And I'm going to read this to you and I'm going to translate as I go. So they don't read this part. Uh, so let me switch to cameras here for those that are, let me get on the screen camera here, Get take my uh, beautiful picture off. Uh, Realty One Group, this is the disclaimer at the bottom of about 20 pages of crap. After they've given you a number of 85 grand on your $100,000 house and you go, you know, Brian, I, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you real estate people. I can go straight to Zillow. They'll make this hassle-free, close in a couple of weeks, no problems, no sweat, get lost, loser. That's what a lot of home sellers, that's how they act. Now, this seller was very humble and they said, you know, we appreciate your commentary. Would you take a look at it? I said, certainly. Let's take a look at what Zillow is offering you. I, and they said to me, this is an offer. It's all done. We're ready to go. I said, I doubt it. So let me take a look. So let me read you the part that most sellers don't see because it's at the bottom of 20 pages in very, very fine print that looks like, ah, I don't want to read that garbage, right? Well, yeah, except that this is the part that gets you and gets you good. So let me tell you where you are at the point that you're looking at what I'm about to read you. You've spent a few days, a couple of weeks, going back and forth with Zillow, having an inspection, and getting an estimate of what you're going to net at closing before you pay off your mortgage and your closing costs to your attorney and all that stuff. And you think you've got a deal done and the offer's good only for three days. Take it in three days or we're going to pull it off the table. Yeah, right. Okay, so they use pressure, double entendre, uh, they pull the wool over your eyes and they use scam-like techniques in order to keep you pressured to the wall. They've already wasted a bunch of your time, so now you want to just keep moving. It's like throwing good money after bad uh, instead of just bailing out, moving on, right? So the numbers provided in this summary, I'm reading their, their disclaimer, and I'll say the word stop before I start translating. The numbers provided in this summary are estimates and are provided for informational purposes only based upon the above po uh, proposed purchase price, market price adjustments, and projected closing date. Stop. So what does this mean? This means that nothing in here is agreeable or reliable. We're just simply seeing if you'll take it. And if you will, then we'll have you bought in a little bit of dopamine in your brain. And you get a little excitement, you get positive, and you're, now you're really bought into this sale that you think is going to happen at this price of 85 grand. Let's continue. The projections included, notice the word projections included, have been prepared to assist seller in estimating cost. Projections assist in estimating. All non-committal words. All scam-like because they have a double entendre. They're to help you. No, they're to confuse and to delude you. Let's continue. Amounts at closing may vary when actual estimates, liens, impound accounts, and other items are verified and a closing date is determined, meaning we're not even committed to a time frame here. And there may be other things that we're not telling you about that you may think we're paying, but we're not because you haven't actually received the nasty contract we're about to send you in a week or so. Let's continue. Any conclusions that consumers draw from the information presented here are their own and are not to be attributed to the broker, agent, or Zillow. Stop. Boy, that's a powerful and damning sentence. Meaning that everything we've said, 
everything we've put in writing, everything you've read online, every suspicion of value or commitment from us is wrong. I won't call it a lie because they're saying right here in Double Entendre, we're not telling you everything. Nothing here is reliable. Nothing here is what you should believe or expect. It's just words and numbers on paper. Now, if you so desire out of an abundance of ignorance to think that anything we've said is reliable or truthful, that's your problem, not ours. That's what this says legally. Let's continue. Seller acknowledges that broker and agent are acting solely as buyer's agents. The broker and agent are not representing seller in regard to the property. The typical home seller who falls for this, maybe isn't any of my audience, maybe it is, but the typical home seller who falls for this is someone who more than likely believes in the process of having someone come out with a license who helps them and has some level of inherent trust. I would never do that. Probably most of my audience wouldn't do that, but there's some inherent trust. So they rely on the numbers they present as if though they are expert numbers. And in fact, they're nothing like that. The reality here is that the Zillow home purchase program is a scam. It steals your equity and that's it. That's all there is to it. And it, it, it to me is disgusting that these things are out here and that people are following for them in volume. So for this radio segment and the video we've created, it's for the sole purpose of helping sellers and helping other real estate agents know what to say and what to do to arm themselves. Because when you Google this stuff to find the bad, Zillow owns a lot of the blog sites and Zillow owns most of the content. So you're not going to read the bad stuff here. We'll be right back. 